Ottoman Empire lasted more than 600 years. And for most of that time, Istanbul was its proud capital. But as the Ottomans eventually discovered, getting to the top and staying there while the world around you changes is quite a challenge and easier said than done. This former palace is now a hotel conference center, albeit a very nice one. Decline and fall, a familiar refrain in history, just as it is in business. So in this disruptive AI era, how can companies survive and thrive amidst all the obstacles and still reel in that revenue? Well, Dr. Taib ben Meriam is a man who knows all about navigating innovation and maximizing the opportunities it presents. The main innovations that directly impact data communication space are, let's say, the following. The first one is the volume of data that's connected every day. Mm -hmm. The size is over terabyte. That's very huge. The second innovation that may impact data communication space is the AI model. And then need huge computing power. And this is why another driver is the CPUs that maybe now we are reaching 100,000 CPUs in for this processing, parallel processing. And the third is the AI model, as I mentioned, LLM, that are used for processing data. And we need also to train this model. This is why we need this computing power. And we need to reduce also this training because it's, co it's consume power. And this is why we need to move maybe from this data-centric AI model to the edge. And this is another innovation. We are moving from data center to the edge. Mm. And maybe now to the device themselves. What does this mean? This means that we have a small AI model that can be embedded within smartphone, within cameras, within all the objects. That's very important. That's major shift in terms of paradigm of AI. That is totally changing the game. We may have thousands of AI model instances that are running simultaneously. And each AI instance is supporting particular business objective and operational objective that has been designed for in order to achieve desired services that we, want, that we have trained this AI model in order to achieve this desired objective. What industry is seeking is the full package toolkits to help service providers, operators, carriers, uh, enterprises in, in their digital transformation journey. Mm. And we are providing this full package. That's architectures, design principle, a blueprint, case study best practices, and also certification. That is the full package of toolkits. What are the challenges ahead? Yes, the challenges, we are looking at many challenges. For instance, the challenge related to digital transformation mm. and behind digital transformation, what is, there is digital equality. Mm. It's very important to reduce digital divide. Another innovation is related to within digital industry space to improve productivity within uh, manufacturing, within uh, financial, within mining, uh, within uh, gas, oil companies. All the different verticals. Different vertical, yeah. exactly. That improve the productivity. Mm. And also the impact on the economy. And we define an index uh, to, to rank uh, the countries with respect to the deployment of broadband and the, the cloud. And then from that, we identify there is correlation, direct correlation between this index, mm. cloud and broadband index, and GDP, and economy. Mm. That's very important. All this innovation that will be positively impact the GDP growth and the economy. 
And then just finally, I guess I'm asking you to look in your crystal ball here. Yeah. But if you had to cast ahead for the next five years, what's the, the key trend that you predict will be coming down the track that we need to prepare for? Yes, for the five years, we are seeing that the major applications or major service are within future application within video space and within immersive space. We are starting, it's not what's so called now uh, metaverse, but the gaming uh, stakeholder that are using this metaverse without naming metaverse, that the pioneer in this space. And now it's moving to industry. Yes. So that is the main driver of all these uh, five years. And majority of traffic that will emerge within five years will be within these applications, new apply video applications within immersive experience within the metaverse. That, that's very important. And what about as, as technologies converge? In, you've talked about Internet of Things, yeah. you've talked about AI, big data. As all these technologies converge, again, what impact will that have and what opportunities will yeah. that offer to the industry? Absolutely. That's very important. What you're seeing, uh, in five years, all this technology, AI, cloud, IPv6, IoT, will arrive simultaneously. Mm. But we need to have a holistic view right. in order to maximize the old benefits. The mistake that we have not to, uh, to do to look at silo manner and to try IPv6 and to look what is the benefit from IPv6, look at the AI, uh, what the benefit from uh, So not a piecemeal approach, yes. a much more coherent. Yeah, because it may happen that when you optimize the benefit or may you try to maximize the benefit from one technology, it may happen that the parameters that you are optimizing in order to maximize the benefit mm. that can bring, it may negatively impact another technology mm. and we are not aware of.